We took a day trip here to Vinigaroda. It's the gateway to the Hearts Mountains and we're so excited to explore this city for the day and see what it has to offer. I can tell you based on behind me here, it's already absolutely beautiful. So let's go. So on this trip, we are visiting a new state in Germany. It's our first time here in Sachsen-Anhalt. It's right next to Niedersachsen in the north. And we're really excited to check out really a new part of Germany, even though it's only about an hour and a half to two hours from Hanover. So first up, we're heading to the Kleintes house or the smallest house here in Veringeroda. It's actually a museum that you can go in and visit. It only costs a euro and while it's all in German and it's just a quick look around as it's only nine and a half feet by 13 feet and a first floor as well as a second floor. And you do have to watch your head because it's really small, but it's pretty cool to look around and see just a historic small house here in this beautiful historic city in Germany. Now let's head up to the castle. So right now we're on our way up to the castle. It's right up there on the hill. Google says it's only a 15 minute walk outside of the city. So instead of taking the short train up, we are gonna walk it and we'll let you know how it goes. One thing I absolutely love is that when you're walking up here, you get this beautiful architecture right behind me that continues right outside of the city center. You don't get that in every city and it's something we're simply not used to, especially living in Hanover that was almost totally destroyed during the war. We are walking up to the castle right now. It said originally when we had looked it up, and it was gonna be about a mile from the city center up to the top of the castle. But from the steep part, um, it said just half a kilometer up to the top. So we're walking that now. It is a bit steep, but we're going slowly and we'll see what's at the top. When entering the Vernigeroda castle, the first thing you notice is the massive stone walls built to protect this place. It was first built all the way back in the 12th century and has withstood the test of time. Now, of course, it was destroyed and rebuilt and destroyed and rebuilt throughout the years, all the way until the 1800s when it was reconstructed to look like it does today. So we are now on our way back down from the Vernigeroda castle. That is always a mouthful for me to say, but this city is beautiful and the castle is exactly the same. Now, while we did pay the nine euros to enter the castle, that's something you don't 100% have to do. It was cool, historic on the inside, and some of the rooms were absolutely gorgeous, but we were not allowed to take video on the inside. However, we highly recommend, and we would say it's a must do when you visit here, to come up to the top and hike those 15, 20 minutes up this steep hill to get beautiful views of the city, as well as the Hearts Mountains and Brocken, its highest point in the background. It's a remarkable view and it's absolutely beautiful. Now we're headed back down to the city to get some food. We are at Alta Brennera and I got the vegan Jaeger schnitzel here. I'm gonna give it a try. They have a bunch of different vegan schnitzels. So while one day on camera, I'll try a regular schnitzel. I wanted to go for the vegan one. And get some of this sauce on here. Ooh. It's hot. Mm. Mm. Now that is really good. If you want to try schnitzel, but you don't eat meat and you're here in Vernigeroda, you need to try this. This place is awesome. Highly recommend coming here when you visit. The sun is finally here. 
So we are in the Marked Platz in Vernigerode here, and right behind me is the Rathaus. It is one of the most beautiful town halls I've ever seen in Germany, and I just can't imagine what it would be like with a Christmas market in it. So maybe it's a place we're gonna have to come back to. And if you're interested in any German Christmas market videos, check out this playlist right here, where you see a bunch that we went to last year, and we'll be adding more this Christmas when we head to new ones. Maybe like the one right here. Now let's keep going to see what this town has to offer. Vernigerode is also home to a stop on the Brockenbahn, which is an old steam-powered train that'll take you from town to town all the way around the Hartz Mountains and up to Brocken, the highest peak in the Hartz. And while we didn't do that on this trip, it's something we definitely want to come back and do. So again, subscribe so you can see that video when it comes out. We decided to walk past the oldest house here in Vernegrola and it's right here behind me. It looks like you can stay here and we can't go inside but it looks like all the other houses right here. It dates back to 1400 and maybe if you are visiting here you would like to book a room here. Right behind me here is the Museum Scheifa's house or the Crooked House. As you can see right there, if I move my head, it is leaning and it's almost falling. And supposedly it's because it used to be a mill right on a little stream here. And over time, like 500, 600 years, it started to lean and it's still standing today. You can go inside, it's a museum, but we are gonna skip that. It's only a couple euros, but it might be pretty cool. And especially if you speak German, you'll probably learn something. So on our way out, we decided to stop at the Harzer Baumkuchen House. It's a typical dessert here and from the Harz Mountain. So we went straight to their cafe factory, I guess. We got a little bite-sized piece of the dark chocolate one and we really have no idea what it is other than that it's traditional. So this is what they look like and I'm gonna give it a go. Mm. I'm softening though. Tastes like cake covered in dark chocolate. And the dark chocolate is really strong. Now I gotta try one. And that's about it. <laughs> but it's good. Oh yeah, it's just kind of like a soft, I don't even know what kind of cake, like angel foodie mm -hmm. yeah. type cake on the inside and kind of a almost bitter dark chocolate on the outside. I'd say if you're here, stop and get some, but it's not something you have to do, especially if you're coming by train because it would be hard to get here with public transit. But that's gonna do it for our day trip to Veringeroda. We're back to Hanover, and while you're here, make sure to check out our other videos, and we'll see you over there. Bye. <laughs>